Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well, and thank you for watching this clip on long division and synthetic division. I thought what I would do for this clip is I'll do it as side by side. Now, where you can see why they're actually the same, number one, number two, why one method is a little easier than the other one, and in the end, I'll show you a very good shortcut to how to check your work. Um, it's not often you'll see the exam question ask you to do both, but you know, be over prepared. It's probably always better than be under prepared. So let's do the long and tedious one first. And now notice here we're missing a term of x squared term. So we're going to save a spot, kind of like a Thanksgiving dinner. You save a spot for maybe one of your favorite aunt who can show up. All right, so we're going to save a sh spot for our x squared term. And then out here, I'm going to move, move my 4x minus 2 out there. There's nothing missing over here. I'm drawing a curve on the bottom to say there's two curve, two terms. So I'm going to be dealing two terms at a time. And then I always tell my students, you know, pretending you're poking a hole on top of this roof. And you want to make sure that you want to write the first term not in front of the first term on top of the first term poking roof over here, but you want to poke it here. That way, when you get to the last term, you're not puzzled by there's a seemingly a left empty spot. Okay, so the first thing we're going to put it down is going to put a 4x, uh, not cube, squared. The reason I want to put there is I wanted this thing times the leading term here just to match my first term. That's all I have to do each time. So I have a 16x cubed minus 8x squared. Okay. Now, next tricky thing is this. You have to do the subtraction when you're doing long division. So over the years, I tell my students, just slow down. Write a minus sign over there, and then you speak it out loud. 16x cubed minus 16x cubed, it's gone. Zero minus minus become a plus. Okay, next term gets copied down. And then in order to match it, I'm going to have a 2x over there. So I have an 8x squared minus 4x over here. Okay, again, it's a minus, so 8x squared minus 8x squared goes away. Minus 24 minus minus become plus. Okay, so minus 24 plus 4 is minus 20x. And then this last term comes down, and we have everything we need, a plus a minus 5 over here. Or if you prefer, just write a minus 5. That's fine also. Minus 5 times 4x, I have the leading term matched. And next term, I have a 10. Okay, minus over here. Minus 20x minus minus is plus. So first term cancels. And 13 minus 10, my remainder, therefore, is 3. Okay, so what is this really saying in our... Uh, long division is this. Let's see if we have a 21. Let's see if we divide it by um, 2. We have 1, okay, 0, and then the remainder is 1. So what we're really saying is, look, 21 divided by 2 is equal to 10 plus a half, or equivalently you can say 21 is equal to 10, whatever this number is, 10, times 2, and plus the remainder. Okay, now this is actually pretty important because that's what long division is all about. So what we're really saying is, look, that big long thing you're trying to do division on, plus 13, is really equal to 4x minus 2 times whatever the quotient you have, which is 4x squared plus 2x minus 5, and added the remainder, which is the 3 put a box over here. Okay, that's our final answer. Now, let's take a look at synthetic division side by side. We're going to do the same thing here. x cubed, x squared, x to the 1, x to the 0. This is our constant term. Okay, so 16 minus, uh, this is 0, minus 24, and 13. Now, here's the trick. For our synthetic division, we have to put a number over here. A lot of students say, well, what do I do for the number here? Well, here's what you do. For the, for the number here you put is, you grab whatever you're trying to divide, set it equal to 0, and you can see x is equal to uh, minus half. Oh, my apologies, it's actually po positive half. So you put a half over here. 
Okay, so basically you're testing this half here, and in the end I'll show you why it's actually the same. Okay, so the first term comes down, 16 times that is really equal to 8. Okay, now here we're doing a plus sign. This is the difference between long division and synthetic. Synthetic we do plus, and that's why this little trick here is needed over there. You always solve for zero and put the number you solve for over there. So here's the 8, and then we have a 4 minus 20. Now you notice this 8 is really equivalent to this triangle term here, 8x squared. Okay. Next term, minus 20, is really equivalent to this term. Isn't that funny? Everything works out. This is minus 10. We'll have a remainder of positive 3. This is exactly the same. Now, here is if you're smart, um, viewer, you would have catch with me to say, oh, wait a minute. Remainder. Okay. And wait a minute. You said here what I end up with actually is 16x squared plus 8x and, uh, minus 20. How come this one is different than what I had before? But ha, huh, here's the thing. It's not different. Not if we write into the same form here. What we have over here to see the fx, the original fx, is equal to 16x cubed minus 24x plus 13. This one is also equal to x, um, let's see, what do I have? x minus half, okay, because this is the uh, where the half comes in. Okay, it's equivalent to x minus half times 16 x squared plus 8x minus 20 plus 3. Okay. Now notice why those two are the same. Here's what I wanted to show you why those two are the same is there's coefficient of 4. If you pull the coefficient of 4 out of here, you get exactly the same thing. Okay, this is 4x squared plus 2x minus 5 plus 3. Okay, so therefore, long division and synthetic division does give you exactly the same thing. Okay, so this is how we do a synthetic division when the coefficient or when the thing you're trying to divide does not have a simple quote unquote roots in there. This is how you handle and get around it. In the end, you do end up with exactly the same thing. All right, I hope this helps. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. Please comment or thumb up if it's has been helpful. Until next time, have a confident day.